about DIY. Everything on this channel is ghetto. A little bit ghetto, you know, a little bit hood. Hey guys, what's up? It's your Black Youth out here, and today we are doing another cosplay transformation. Today we're doing uh, Marceline the Vampire Queen from Adventure Time. This is literally my favorite cartoon, and I'm trying to get through all of like the main characters and just some of my favorites. I've already done Fiona the Human slash Finn the Human. We've done Princess Bubblegum and today we are doing her girlfriend, Marceline the Vampire Queen. I am going to do my own take on this character like I did with her girlfriend. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, it'll be linked right there. And today we are doing Marceline the Vampire Queen in the traditional goth style. So I'm super excited for this one. So let's just get right into it. So my contacts look like this right now. Um, it's ripped and I can't use them. I can't put this in my eye. Uh, TTDI, if you're watching this, send some girls some contacts, please. Contact me, please. I would love that. Send me some contacts, please. Oh, um, because the contacts are literally deceased, dead, gone. We're doing this with no contacts, which is fine. It's fine. So let's just get right into it, shall we? I'm going to start off with blocking off my eyebrows. I'm using just a regular all-purpose glue. Oh my god, it's really been that long since I haven't caught My eyebrows are all dried down and honestly I feel like I don't even need to powder them. Like they're just they're 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 stuck, they're you know, they're serving whatever they want. Uh I'm trying to think if I should put a little bit of color on top to kind of match my skin tone so that it doesn't look all fucked up when I put face paint over it. But I'm feeling kinda lazy, so you know what? Let's just go straight into the face paint. I love her content. Her name is Gothic Bratz on Instagram, or that's her like IG handle. And she puts like Vaseline on her face before she does face paint, and her face paint always looks literally immaculate. And y'all know I struggle with making it look even a semblance of her how she does. So we're gonna try what she does today. I have a little Vaseline here. I love me some Vaseline, so and basically kind of use it as a primer before the face paint. I've never tried this before. Which I should probably try things before I like start recording. Um, but you know, I like to take risks over here. So I'm using the shitty palette like I always do. I have my little acrylic palette back there. And we're going into the white first. Technically, Marceline the Vampire Queen, she's like a light blue. But we're gonna go for gray today, I think. Maybe with like a blue tinge, maybe not. See how I'm feeling and see how much white I have because the white, it's nearly done. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of blue. A very like neutral gray. Okay, to start off with face painting, I'm just going to paint my ears first, just for prep. Um, I got these off of AliExpress. Clearly, they're not my color or the color I need it to be, so I'm just going to use a little bit of face paint and some got to bleed, got to bleed, and some got to be hairspray to set everything. Okay, now that my ears are set and ready to dry, I'm going to start on the face. And I already have my little color here. We are going very light. I'm going to go very light. As I learned last time, that less is better.
Okay, I think that's as best as I can do. I'm contemplating whether I should set my face with hairspray or just use the baking method. Um, why? Because, <laughs> very ghetto to admit out loud, but I did use this and I'm telling you my makeup like stayed, it looked amazing. I don't suggest you spray hairspray all over your face, but I know that sometimes what the drag queens use and I want to try it out, okay? Like, don't yell at me, do not comfort me. Today, I tried something different using Vaseline. We're gonna try something different and also set our entire face with hairspray. Again, I don't recommend this. Please don't do this at home. You will break out most likely. Um, but I'm gonna do it generally, so. burns your eyes the chemicals the toxins gonna keep everything in though don't do it oh god oh god I can't open up my eyes last time I'm done don't do this at home just watch for your entertainment watch me suffer don't suffer yourself okay I'm gonna wait till this like actually sets in something kind of similar to like how much of a hold like a hairspray does it i would suggest the krylon um setting spray as i'm told it does give you a hairspray hold it's literally for like theater and stuff like that so that's just gonna stay i haven't used it myself so um i can't really give like you like a first person like ah this is the one i really do suggest but um i've seen a lot of people use it haven't used it myself it should be good but when i get a little bit more money and i could pay for like a 35 dollar bottle of that i would definitely i just i don't have, i don't got it like that right now so this is what we're doing <laughs> the diy everything on this channel is ghetto a little bit ghetto you know a little bit hood we're gonna start so now everything is see this is why i decided to look you see transfer proof and i think i could even add shadow on this and it won't move and budge like how it was happening with this i just can't i just can't do it again it's so frustrating i'm just gonna basically go boss the wall and do whatever i'm feeling like this could end up really cute really bad i don't know we're just gonna try so i'm just gonna basically stop talking and just let the let it flow let it go and let it flow i'm gonna do what i want all right it gives evil and i kind of live the biggest wing that you can ever think of The product I'm using, by the way, this is just the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner. If you're looking for a really, really black liner, this is the way to go. I'm just kind of like mapping out like how I kind of want it to look. I'm not like dead set. Honestly, this whole thing is going to be pretty messy. The inspo, you know, is pretty messy as well. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, so the black isn't like black enough. I'm going straight into the same face palette. I look crazy. I'm like looking inside the viewfinder. I'm like, hi, I'm going into this, um, my face palette and using the black color just with a regular kind of flat shadow brush. We're going to do it like that. I feel like I'm just going to, you know, get a better, yeah, look at that. A better result. That's kind of what I'm going for. I need to do it up even more.
I really overlined and I just realized that this is supposed to be, you know, goth thing. I don't know, why can't goths overline their lips, right? You could be goth and have big ass, pretty, beautiful lips if you want to. Alright, so the makeup portion is basically done. I think I'm going to stick with this. Don't wash those eyebrows though, please and thank you. Um, my bangs are going to cover it anyways. This part, literally up to here, is basically neg negligent. You're not going to see it inside of Anna Gusway. I forgot her bite mark though, so I'm going to do that real quickly. So now that that is all done, I did buy a few little fake, um, you know, like piercings and stuff just because I thought it would be like fun to kind of add it to this look. Not saying that like all traditional goss or goss period have piercings. It's just, I just thought it would be fun. So I have like these. I'll show you like up close. So these are just like little ones with like a little ring and it's basically blunt at one end. I'm just gonna, you could basically just slip it anywhere. You see? And boom! I have a nose piercing! Honestly, I think I'd look really cute with a nose piercing. I just, I'm definitely afraid of needles. And I, I can't. I think I'm gonna do one on the lip too, or maybe two. Like little, what is it called? Is it called snake bites? I might be wrong about that. Or maybe three. I don't know. I always thought the one inside, like the middle of the lip, like it's just, it's just hot. There's something about that that's just. Oh, uh, my lips are too thick for this though, so it's kind of showing the pink part. So I'm gonna do it on each corner of my lip. I'm gonna have two more. And I don't know. I don't know how to put them. I could put another, like a double. The nose. I wish I could put it on my eyebrow, but that's not gonna show for oh cute. Wait, that is so cute. Oh my god. Like the double ring, one smaller than the other. Oh god. Why am I afraid of needles, man? Okay. Now I'm almost done. I'm gonna put on my ears and everything, and we're gonna get into the final reveal. So yeah. Alright, so this is the end of this transformation. I have a list because I have things, hun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really did really, really have so much fun making this look. In the video, if you like this video, like it. If you dislike this video, dislike this off feedback, definitely comment down below on what current character I should try next. And yeah, me on my TikTok, follow me on my Instagram to see more things of this look. I'll see you there. I'll see you next time and bye. 모든 날 보여